Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to Ascended Stars. I feel like I haven't been with you guys in so long. I'm so sorry. Uh, things are happening. <laughs> life, life, it's called life. All right, so I have um, all these Oracle decks for why still no contact okay and this is for libras you're going to be first because it's your birthday season and i know i'm missing some of my zodiac signs out there but i um i apologize uh i apologize that's all i can do <laughs> um mama's gotta pay the bills <laughs> ain't nothing up but the rent and i i'm so sorry it's just life is just crazy right now uh, okay, so let's see. What deck do we want to use for you, Libra? Um, I think we're going to use this one. The uh, the cool deck. <laughs> I don't know the names. I'm sorry. If I don't, if I stop and get the names for all these, I'll, I won't get these readings out. You know me, okay? Uh, give me a break, though. It is my September. It's still, you know, my, my birthday month. <laughs> If you want to get me new decks, if you want me to check out your decks, please bring them on in. I, I'd love to. And I can give you props for them and even become an affiliate. I'm into it. All right. So why? Why is there no contact still with uh, your person? What's going on with this person? What, what, uh, what does the spread here say regarding the one that you have in mind. Now, this could be a cross watcher and this could be Libra. So we want to see what's the what's the situation, right? All right, let's check it out. We also want to see what's the influential planets right now, the energy that's holding this person up from fully connecting with you. It doesn't go, it doesn't fit. I mean, it fits. You guys can't see it. That's not fun. And what's the love? Uh, what is this one? Universal love card. I've been using these forever. Nobody used them, and now everybody likes them. And I, I'm so happy because this is such a beautiful deck. And there's, like, other versions of it, too. But this is still the OG version, the original. Absolutely. Okay. I think I'll leave it there for now, and um, let me get my tarot cards back. It's just not enough space. All right, let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, waiting. And that's what we're asking. <laughs> Why are we still not? They might have money issues. Um, but if we're dealing with a seven, Seventh house, Libra, relationships. You know, most of my audience is female, so a lot with the masculine of what's happening is the ascension. The ascension is happening for them, and you know, it's it's a wave. It's a wave. As I call it, like a fog, and it just kind of slowly comes into their life, and they're then all of a sudden they're in it. And they don't know um, that now the time to do the work is here. Saturn has gone direct in Capricorn. And Capricorn is a serious sign. It's about it rules old people, it rules uh, determination it, it rewards determination and perseverance so this person could be hard at work they could have a lot of debt that they need to clear out um, that's their priority because the masculine works from the ego base right the masculine is always thinking from the ego base maybe I should move these a little shift them so you can see a little yeah okay cool now the past we got the full card um, <laughs> It's kind of an interesting energy for the past, right? I'm gonna have to clarify that. But let's see here. The present. This person is very passionate. So maybe yeah, they do they're they're very passionate about their work, they're a very passionate individual, and that's what their priority is right now. Yeah, the the wheel. 
it came in reverse so they're you know this passion is there but they're not they're not stepping into that that world that that's exactly what I just kind of was seeing here this is the waiting they're not stepping into it right they're not I think a lot of masculine doesn't even know that it's like wow what's this energy there's they're, a lot of they're trying to figure it out um, but for the Libra This is if this is you, my beautiful Libra darling, you're not stepping into that energy. You're not, you're wanting, you're waiting, or you're uh, stalling. And I feel also if this is Libra with with the full, you're you're not. Maybe you don't know what you want, so you you want to reflect on all this you know energy some of you my Libras you know your birthday hasn't hit yet so you're still in the 12th house so you're still in a reflective mode and you're uh, doing things the old way and that's not gonna help <laughs> that's not gonna help yeah that's your so you're so this is this this is a uh, consistent with the wheel of fortune reversed not stepping into that energy not making those moves and it's because you're letting go Pluto here we go Pluto's gonna go direct October 2nd and of course it's going you know Saturn's going in Pluto right now and so this this is um, an evolution a transformation this is a time of letting stuff go mourning I feel like mourning mourning the old you mourning someone from the past this almost makes me feel like, you know, look how they're also in different directions. Sorry for the glare. But uh, there's a hesitation here of not, again, this is the energy of not. There's a lot of passion. Maybe it's, what's it based on? What do you need to surrender? You know, what do you need to surrender here that, that you're not stepping into this new world? All right, we got two cards of the surrender cards for you. All right, let's keep moving here, and we'll check that out. So this is um, my position for the guidance, like, you know, the way that spirit views this. And you're right now on an emotional journey. Right now, you're stepping into something where you need to let go of some thought forms that you had, air energy, Libra, the way that you went into perhaps relationships, because we're in the, the area of relationships, the way you valued yourself, the way that you um, conducted yourself, the way that you let people treat you. So you're manifesting, okay? The magician. The, this is a lot of Libra energy right now. In, it's, it's, it's about manifesting. It's about, you know, doing what you want, do going for it. Um, so once you re relinquish these thought forms that don't serve you and don't really help, oh, I have to tell you my fans on because um, and some little kids screaming outside. I don't know if you can hear them, but yeah, I can hear them now. Uh, the fan is just too hot, so I have to have the, the the fan on. Okay, so yeah, this person is not contacting my Libra, or my Libra is not contacting this person. Perhaps if you're the cross watcher, you know, because these energies could go either way. Now, what 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 needs to be surrendered? Why? This is also. Okay, I'm also picking up. This is also an energy that they're still clinging on to. They haven't let go. Libra have not let go of this energy. Okay, you still have a lot of passion from someone that you're waiting on them to connect with you, right? You're waiting. You're still waiting on this person. This is we're asking about a particular person, but this particular person is a, is a bit of a trickster and a liar. Okay, so why are you attracted to this person and so you're maybe asking yourself what's going on with that you're making some you're having you're reviewing you're reviewing like your past love affairs your past connections and relationships and here is something that you need to let go of surrender unhealthy relationships now you guys saw me pull these cards they just popped out this is your message let go of relationships that don't serve you including unavailable or toxic people you deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people now people nowadays people as in women the whole relationship dating thing has flipped has changed okay 
So here in the Western world it has. And um, we're going through a revolutionary time in relationships. Libra, step in, give us definition. Let's let's see how we're going to do this, how we're going to roll, you know, in the next 20, 30, 40 years. Um, yeah, I have some thoughts on that. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Surrender to wonder and awe. This is really interesting. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Now, I know how flirtatious Libras are and how you're into beauty, centralness as well, and more than anything, you know, I guess balance, having your family and your career balanced, a big 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 thing for Libra you're a cardinal sign we're going into a lot of cardinal energy so if, if if we're in Libra season there's a lot of energy in Libra the Sun's in Libra Venus is in Libra Mercury is in Libra uh, Mars is in Virgo right now Jupiter is in Sagittarius and Saturn and Capricorn all in their dignitaries you know Saturn and uh, Sagittarius and then we have retrograde energy in their dignitaries as well, which means in their home signs. Neptune is in Pisces, retrograde. Um, and yeah, Chiron retrograde in Aries. And Uranus is retrograde in Taurus, which is a big deal. Okay, we're not going to get into all of that. I apologize for, for going a little overboard. Um, let's see what the astrological energies are affecting you it's the Sagittarius energy so we're talking about Jupiter in Sagittarius in its dignity in its home sign this is expansion okay this is expansive energy this is fire this is about education um, it feels like justice with that arrow there it feels like justice uh, swift just justice okay 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 oh this is exciting October 3rd um, Saturn move is a very slow moving planet but it's gonna really be in that position that it's, it's moved direct but now I'll be moving actually uh, edging should we say edging when it comes to Saturn edging um, on that third October 3rd so I do see that arrow as quick justice. And, and the, the message says, This energy imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. So if, if this reading attracted you and you came here, thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate you. Um, I, do, I do very kind of like straight to the point. I try to be straight to the point as possible. I do segue sometimes, but um, why still no contact? Your message, my dear, is it's time for you to focus on you. This is a very synergistic time. Um, I will tell you something very important. Saturn moving direct, right? Pluto in in Capri uh, Saturn and Pluto, on, on, you know, coming up, and then we have. Um, Saturn and Capricorn and then we have this huge momentum going into January 2020 now to me this energy is like musical chairs now this two it's got two energy it's got two uh, two ways of the two ways that I see it it's like musical chairs and right now if you don't have a chair when the music stops it's okay you can stop playing you know but when we get to January 2020 um, things are going to be more serious regarding our finances and the way that we're living and uh, resources you know it's going to be a lot more drastic a lot more a severity a lot more Capricornian serious energy okay so that being said this is an opportunity for you to get your mm, together and you know really get yourself in check um, get your ducks in a row is what this energy is to me okay even though I mean I, I feel like you guys already knew this like you guys already knew that this person's a trickster you know and liar it doesn't stop you from loving this person but yet 
you can you can love an unhealthy person from far away. Let me just tell you, it's 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 this uh, 3D, 5D energy where you know I'm gonna love you from far away, and then and then the next step, Libra, which you rule you're ruled by Venus. The next step is love. So the next step, what is that? Forgiveness, moving into that ascended energy. Okay, so. Um, We'll tap into that a little later, but this is just a short, quick, so I can get everybody done, uh, messages. All right, so this is the gateway, and this is what you have. Um, so this is right now a time where or doors will open, opportunities are here, and then the doors will close, the music will stop, and the cement will dry. Okay, you if like let's let's think of a driveway and you want a certain pattern for the driveway and then it didn't work out, then you repave it and you redo it. That's right now is the cushion time between now and January 2020. That's the gateway energy. So if your love life ain't working out, the best thing right now is to really sort out who is gonna be on Team Libra and who's gonna support you and who you're gonna move into that future with in with strength, uh, loyalty. And a big word I love is integrity. Okay, so um, let's give you one angel card. Let's give you two uh, more cards. One's going to be the romance deck. Express your love. Um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I, I've seen that, you know, hey, you know, the, the typical thing in my cult, not, well, yeah, in my culture and in, 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 in growing up is the man makes the move first, but these uh situations now in dating is the woman can make them move first you know and, and they can be like and, and they do i see a lot of women actually they're more young they're more aggressive and more you know um going for it and and they, they put it under the umbrella of oh i'm just checking you know hi it's just like like you know you know by just putting out a picture you know with so you can be flirty okay that's that's the energy i'm picking up be flirty um look good feel good smell good keep your 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 game going that's not going to stop you uh but you this this situation that we're asking about is this is your answer that you're getting and so the last card is your angel card of um oracle angels so you got 44 oh i love that number believe in dreams let me read it to you and then let me just find the page and then i will check out and try to do the next sign all right here we go. It says, awake, oh, wait, that's not it. <laughs> Awakening is not 44. I'm sorry, I had the page. Let's read it. Here we go. Believe in dreams, Libra. And it says, you may be encountering some obstacles and challenges which you feel are standing in the way between you and your dreams. Don't be disheartened. Your efforts will soon be rewarded. Continue to do whatever you can to move towards achieving your dreams. Okay, all in reasonable. Uh, even the smallest steps will make a big difference at this time. If you don't feel supported by those around you, draw on your own inner strength and do the believing for them. Acknowledge your value and fill your mind with positive thoughts about your future success. There seems to be a connection with love and success for you, my Libra. So um, keep the vibe positive. Know that what you're doing for yourself, you're doing for the collective, like family, archetypal collective for your, you know. Um, I know I'm talking to a lot of mothers out there. I just feel that it's time because Venus is, Libra is a Venetian, Venusian ruled sign and i just feel because jupiter's here too it's it's time that's what i just feel it's time okay so i'll leave you with the affirmation i remain confident and determined even in the face of challenges i draw on my inner strength to help me keep focused on my dreams i rejoice in the success that is coming to me amen i love it thank you so much for watching and um i'm gonna do these the series right now just to send out some love to you guys and tell you that yeah, I really appreciate you and I am working on a lot of things and I, I'm very blessed I'm very happy I appreciate you guys so much um, all any if you want private readings I am doing those so um, please go ahead and hit me up at the show box more below much love bye bye